he said he knew that I could do it. And so I thought, well, if he seems to think so, I'll try. Okay. So I'm glad that uh, I took his advice. That's um, So kids have all kinds of obstacles growing up. Did you have any obstacles that you had to overcome to succeed? And how did you overcome or deal with it? I was a very lucky young lady. I was an only child, spoiled to death. My parents helped me tremendously. My father traveled with me. My mother stayed home, held down a job, and also uh, made all of my stage outfits. She and I designed them. And so we were, you know, I was the first one to wear like glamorous clothes uh, in, in country and rock and roll. But the obstacles, I, I didn't have many. I would say just getting out of school <laughs> was my biggest obstacle. <laughs> I uh, had been recording since I was in uh, the 11th grade. Mm -hmm. And I was just ready to get out and go on <laughs> tour, you know? And I had to wait, of course, until I graduated. And so uh, uh, I'm, I'm teasing in a way, but I really didn't have any big obstacles. Just uh, being a voice in rock and roll for women, mm -hmm. I think was the biggest hurdle I had. Okay, cool. So, um, you have a huge amount of fans all over the world for over 50 years, and now you've got an awesome album, and that's bringing um, a new group of fans. Is, like, is that pretty cool? That is uh, very accurate and very cool, let me tell you. Um, to see young people, even you know, like yourself, that's familiar with the songs that I recorded in the 50s, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, good. So I watched your YouTube video of Adele where she said um, Rolling in the Deep wouldn't have been, like, not for you. So um, is it surprising that you're, into, uh, you're influencing uh, new performers? Yes, yes. That, uh, that really set me back. You know, that threw me for a loop. I'm thinking, how in the world could, could this young, talented lady uh, get anything from my music? Mm -hmm. But yes, she said that in many interviews. And um, Pavlina, I just opened shows for Adele, yeah. ten days, and uh, she said it every night. That if it hadn't been for my influence, some way, um, especially my song of um, "Funnel of Love." Mm -hmm inspired her to write Roland in the Deep. So I feel very proud of that. <laughs> good. Okay, good. So what are your upcoming plans and events? My what? Upcoming like plans and events. Oh, plans and events. You know, I've lived long enough to where um, I, I don't put a lot of thought into that. I just kind of roll with the punches, <laughs> roll with the tide. Um, there is one thing that I'm starting to work on, and that's my biography. And so that's that's a big, big thing. Mm -hmm. uh, when you try to go back and remember the people you've known and yeah. all. Uh, but I will be working on that, I'm sure, next year, most of the year. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you so much for talking to me. Well, you do a wonderful job, darling. Good luck to you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.